In spite of the weather, flights are still departing O'Hare tonight. However, lots and lots of people are beginning to rethink their plans because of the numerous cancellations and delays. So we're hoping for the best, I guess, just like everyone else. It's been a long day for Sarah Shaker and her girls who drove from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan to Green Bay, Wisconsin, hoping to catch a flight that was canceled. After hours in the car, they ended up in Chicago. We just kept driving and drove all the way to Chicago and we're trying to catch our flight to Frankfurt, Germany. And then after that, we're heading to Egypt. O'Hare is reporting more than 530 canceled flights, while Midway has canceled more than 250. The incoming weather just days before Christmas is creating some uncertainty for travelers determined to get to their destinations before the holiday. This mom of five traveling with her husband and children is hoping to get to Syracuse, New York. How long have you been stuck here? Um, since last night about seven o'clock. Oh, yeah, but we rented a hotel. We, get, we came back and we're here. We're not giving up. Hopefully we get there. And if not, we'll still have a holly jolly Christmas no matter what. <laughs> On Reddit.com, airline passengers are also sharing their woes about canceled flights. This passenger deciding to simply fly out on Christmas. And back at O'Hare, Elisa Mitchell is crossing her fingers that her flight just after 6 Thursday night remains on schedule. She's headed to visit her sister in Raleigh, North Carolina. Elisa says when she heard the storm was coming, she tried to leave early, but that didn't work. But the prices were ridiculous, so I'm like, you know what? We're just going to chance it. We lived in Chicago all our lives. We'll figure it out. Yeah, a lot of people keeping that positive attitude in the midst of these numerous cancellations and delays and just getting word that there have been 564 cancellations at O'Hare today and likely many more to come throughout the night. Also, aviation officials say that they have 700, more than 700 employees, I should say, working around the clock, making sure that runways are clear and safe. Additionally, if you are flying out and for certain want to make sure that you check in with your airline and get a status before heading to the airport. We'll be here for the rest of the evening, keeping you updated on the status of flights and delays and cancellations and all of that this evening. For now, reporting live from O'Hare, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News. And it looks like Jewel's going to have a lot of company there throughout the night. Thanks, Jewel.